Great morning, great morning. Hello, hello. Welcome to day 29. Guys, we're pushing forward. I'm so excited. Um, of the 31 days of self-love. I am your host, Corinthia Williams, also known as the Queen of Transformation. And today we're coming with part two. My um, stand falling down. Today we're coming with part two of the ways to kickstart your new year, right? Ways to kickstart your new year. So, <clears throat> Let me give y'all my mission statement. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I help individuals to leap into their God-given purposes and their destinies. Um, I help individuals get a dose of power in the areas of business, marriage, and everyday life. I do this because I truly believe. Oh, there we go. I do this because I truly believe it's not how we start that matters, but it's truly how we finish. And we are determined to finish strong. And so, like I said, on today, we're talking about part two of ways to kickstart your new year. We're just doing some practical things. I'm giving you some practical tips now until December 31st. We've been talking about forgiving. We've been talking about vision casting. We've been talking about loving yourself unconditionally we've been talking and digging deep but on today and like i said the rest of the day um rest of the few days we're just going to give some practical tools we're not going to stay here long so we're going to dive right in so if you could please share this tag a friend let someone know that we're here and we're gearing up for 2021 so the first way for today that you can kickstart your new year is find um, volunteer opportunities, right? You guys might know my husband and I, we give a lot to the homeless. Um, we don't, we're not part of an organization. We just do it. And um, you can do that, make blessing bags. We showed you guys online before how we make the blessing bags and and how it truly blessed people that's are that are in need. But you can actually look at your local churches, local even local government to find volunteer opportunities because it's so 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 important to give back, right? We talk about our goals, we talk about our dreams, but we also have to realize we have to give back also. That's part of not only helping someone else but part of our process as well. Number 2, invest in a Invest in a brighter financial future, right? Invest in a brighter financial future. So what do that look like? That looks like um, getting information you need, pulling your credit report, right? Looking at accounts that you might need to pay off, things of that nature. Starting a savings account. A lot of times, um, well, I believe Dave Ramsey he said, you know, for he suggests to save, I think, at least $3,000. A lot of us don't even have that amount in a savings account. So open a savings account. Um, have a savings jar, right? Me and the kids, we just, well, we used to. We don't have a lot of change now, but we used to save our change, right? We used to save our change, and it would go towards something. So it would go towards... Um, the end of the year when they were taught, you know, when they were younger, we at the end of the school year, I'll treat them to something nice or it even helped towards vacation. You know what I'm saying? So have a savings jar. Speak to a, a financial advisor. I know at the bank that I go to, you can speak to a financial advisor for free. You just got to make an appointment, right? So speak to a financial advisor. See what type of... Um, IRAs or um, stocks you can possibly get into through your own bank that you don't have to pay any extra fees. Um, stocks, right? Now there's so many apps. You got the Stash app, you got Robinhood. I think even Cash app does it where you can actually pur purchase stock. So look into that, do your research. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. But definitely do your research so you can have a brighter financial future. Number three, write your personal mission statement or mantra, right? Write a personal mission statement or mantra. And so I'll be going more in depth in this 
inside the Queen's tribe, but a personal mission statement is saying who you are and what you're going to do, right? What you, what you represent. And I know a lot of businesses does it. My company, A Dose of Power LLC, we have a mantra statement, um, a mission statement. And that's what I say just about every day when I come on, right? We give individuals a dose of power in the areas of business, marriage, and everyday life. We do this because we truly believe it's not how you start that matters, but it's how you finish. So why not finish strong? That's my mission statement for our company. And so... I believe personally we should have mission statements for ourselves, right? What do we do? How we represent ourselves and our family. And um, they call it a mantra, but it's actually a mission statement. So that's important as well. Number four of the ways you can kickstart your new year, schedule family time. That is so, so important. With all that's going on in the world, we work so hard, we do so many things. Family time is so important. And if you don't have any close family members, schedule time with friends, right? Schedule time outside of your day-to-day -day busy life, right? Set time for relationships. You know, the um, with everything, like I said, everything that's going on in the world, we are distance, right? We're social distance. Set time for relationships. We as humans need to be amongst people. We got to be amongst people. So make sure you set that time to be around people you love, your loved ones. Good morning. Thank you so much for jumping on. And lastly, I'm going to get five tips each day for the next few days. So um, number five for today is um, lose other people's opinions. Can we do that? going into 2021 lose other people's opinion let me tell you that thing right there is hard to do but it's so freeing because we are we get so stuck on what other people think about whatever we're doing what we're saying what we look like we ask people opinion about everything every piece of our lives right but we learning and we're growing and learning how to love ourselves and realizing it's okay to be who we are. It's okay to think differently. It's okay to be unique and wonderfully made because that's what God created us to be. Quit worrying about trying to please everyone. We can't. We'll drive ourselves crazy if we do, if we try, right? We can't please everyone. So going into 2021, lose other people's opinion lose it that's something you can lose right lose other people's opinion because it doesn't even matter do you live life out loud amen good morning thank y'all so much for um jumping on with me so today is part two of ways to kickstart your new year number one for today was find a volunteer opportunity uh, number two, invest in a brighter future, financial future. Number three, write a personal statement or mantra for yourself, a personal one. Number four, schedule family time. And number five, lose others' opinion. Lose others' opinion. So listen, guys, um, that's our chat for this morning. Tomorrow, I'll come back with five more ways, five more ways to start the new, to kickstart the new year. And like I said, these are just practical things. You know, we studied, we prayed, we wrote, we wrote our vision. We done a lot in these 31 days. And I'm so excited to see what God is going to do through each person. I hope you guys share your testimonies and all that good stuff. But like I said, <clears throat> this is just practical things we can do, right? life applications right i love using that bible the life application bible because it gives you the word but it also gives you how you can apply it to your life and that's what we're going to be doing for the next few days so we have now completed day 29 of the 31 days of self-love thank you guys so much for joining me um we're going to end in prayer like we always do you can place your prayer requests on the screen amen also, um, on the 31st, 
I will also go over any questions you guys might have for me about any of the days that um, that um, we have been over. And um, if you guys want to come live with me on the 31st, just let me know and I can set up the, um, the screen. So I think it's a certain way you got to do it, but... I can set the screen up so you guys can um, let me know and let the world know how these 31 days of self-love have um, helped you. Amen? All right. So let us pray. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity just to hear from you, another opportunity to fellowship here through the, through the internet, Lord God. We pray that this day will be a new day for us, a fresh day for us, that we can implement some practical things in order to get our lives together, get our stuff right, right? In order to um, help us kickstart into the new year, Lord God. Father God, we pray for each person that will come across this video, Lord. We pray that their lives will forever be changed, Lord God, because it's something that they picked up from these videos. Lord God, I thank you for each person that is here, each household that's represented, Lord God. I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray that their dreams not will no longer be on hold, that you will allow them to um, allow them to birth the visions that you have given them by in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you for their gifts and their talents, Lord God. Allow them and help them sharpen their talents and gifts. And if they might not know, Lord God, help them reveal it. Help their hearts reveal what it is that you have for them to do, Lord God. Allow them to walk it out with victory, with boldness, with strength, with power in the name of Jesus, Lord God. No longer will we look for others' opinion, Father God, but we ask that you continue to speak to us, that you can continue to guide us and strengthen us in everything that we do, Lord God. Lord God, be with us throughout our day. Allow nothing to come up against us, Lord. And if it do, remind us that we have the victory over it in the name of Jesus. Victory is ours on today, Lord God, and forevermore. And we bless your holy name because of it we thank you lord god for keeping power lord god you've kept us through 2020 you kept us through the storms you've kept us in our right minds, Lord God. And we just say thank you, Lord God, for your keeping power. Lord God, you provided for us. Even when we couldn't see how it was going to come to pass, Lord God, you provided for us. And for that, Lord God, we say thank you. So, Lord God, we honor you on today. We honor you on today with with all of us, with, with our love, with our works, with our thoughts, with our actions, whatever we do, Lord God, on today, we honor you, Lord God, and we put you first in everything that we do and say, and even our thoughts, Lord God. We ask that you control our thoughts and don't allow our thoughts to get away from us, Lord. Don't allow us to be consumed by our negative thoughts. Don't allow us to be consumed by the thoughts of doubt, the thoughts of fear. Lord God, allow us to be wiser. Help us to be wiser. Help us to be able to combat those thoughts with power, with courage, with love, with forgiveness in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Now, don't allow our thoughts to overtake us on today. Lord, we might not be where we want to be, but you have us where we need to be. So, Lord, as we end this process, Lord, we ask that you continue to grow us, continue to show us who we are and whose we are. Never leave our side. Never leave us in the name of Jesus. We need you, Father. Continue to show up and show out in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray for a financial breakthrough. We pray for financial breakthrough, Lord God, and each person represented here, Lord God. We pray that you will give them a financial breakthrough, that you would give them a witty idea, that you would give them a new perspective on their finances, Lord. 
that they can get out of whatever financial situation they may be in for something better, something greater in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, help us to be more givers, better givers, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of giving. Lord God, a lot of us aren't in churches. A lot of us don't give tithes, Lord God, but show us where we need to give from, where we need to give to in the name of Jesus, Lord God, because we truly understand the process of sowing and reaping. Because Lord God, we thank you, Lord, to help us find fertile ground that we can sow our seed into, regardless of the amount, Lord God. We give up, give up ourselves in the name of Jesus. We give up our monies in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We give it up unto you. So, Lord God, direct us in the right path for our finances in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heal hearts on today, Lord God. Heal hearts, Lord God. There's a lot of brokenness in the world. There's a lot of sorrow, Lord. We ask that you heal hearts in the name of Jesus, Lord God. No longer have bitter, bitter hearts. No longer have broken hearts. But Lord God, we ask that you heal and restore. Heal and restore in the name of Jesus. Heal and restore. Thank you, Lord God. Mm. Restoration. Restoration. Restore what, what the canker worms tried to take from us. Restore what the devil tried to steal. Restore it in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Your people need you. A lot of people feel hopeless. A lot of people are weary right now, Lord God. But we ask that you heal them in the name of Jesus, that you heal and restore. We in a restoration season you're restoring you're healing and we say thank you lord god you're mending brokenness you're getting things in alignment lord god you're getting things in alignment and we say thank you we you're getting things in order i see order amongst each and every person each and every household we got to get our stuff in order and we thank you lord god for your clear instructions and directions Lord God, we just feel like everything is everywhere, but we thank you, Lord, right now for sending a word of order and re redirection, restructuring, restoration, restoring. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your wisdom. Thank you, Father. We have, the, we have to restore what what was broken we have to put our hand to the plow and do the work thank you lord god thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah thank you father thank you father and as we in our restoration period lord god we pray that you just protect us that you place your arms around us, that you keep us in our right minds as we restore, as we put our hand to the plow, as we do the work, as we sow the seeds, as we go forth and do what you have for us to do. It might not look pretty. It might not feel good, but we know that it is of you. So we will do, thus saith the Lord, in and through each and every activity of our lives. Thank you, Father God. This is a new path for a lot of us, Lord God. This is a new way of living for a lot of us. And we say thank you, Lord God, for the newness. You now have opened our eyes. 2020 has opened our eyes tremendously to things of the new, for correction, for, for new directions, for new thought patterns, for new way of, of talking, new way of speaking, new way of feeling. And we say thank you, Lord God for the new path that you have placed us on. It's time to live life out loud. It's time to be everything that he has created us to be. It's time to understand that we are not here to please people, but God is the only person we need to please. Thank you, Lord. We might feel uncomfortable. We might feel awkward. We might feel um, lonely in the process, but know that we are doing it unto unto the lord 
We are here on purpose for a purpose. And we shall walk each purpose out with power, with victory, with might. In the name of Jesus. We will no longer walk with our heads bowed down, but we will walk with our shoulders squared and our heads up. Realizing that we give God reverence in everything that we do. And we say thank you. Thank you. As we plow, as we go forward, as we move with victory, we do understand that the distractions will come. What we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Anything that's tried to stand in our way, the works of the enemy should not prevail. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. 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 We shall speak life over every dead situation in our lives. We speak life. We speak life. We speak life over our finances. We speak life over our children. We speak life over our, our family members. We speak life over the people that's closest to us. We speak life in our, into our homes. We speak life into ourselves. We speak life. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for life. Thank you for running water. Thank you for your spirit flowing in and through our homes, in and through us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We honor you on today, Lord. We honor you on today, Father. We thank you for the life that you have given us. It might not start off where we thought it should. It, we might not be in the situation that we think we should. But Lord God, we thank you <clears throat> for the life that you have given us. It made us stronger. It made us wiser. It made us find who we truly are. And we say thank you, Father. Thank you for the life that you have given us. You didn't have to save us. You didn't have to heal us. You didn't have to wake us up this morning, but you chose to, and we say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the breath in our bodies, Lord God. Thank you for the jobs that we may have to go to, the tasks that we have to do, the loved ones that we have to see about and care for. We thank you, Lord. We would no longer murmur, complain, but we will praise your name. We we replace complaining with praises. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you're so able and you're so just. And Lord, you're so forgiving. We forget, we ask that you continue to forgive us of every wrongdoing, every evil thought, everything that we've done that was not pleasing unto you, Father God. There's a laundry list of things. But Lord, we know that you are a forgiving God. And we pray that you forgive us of all those things. And also, Lord, that we can forgive ourselves. Let us forgive ourselves of all the things that happened to us that we've done, that we allowed to do, we allowed to happen to us. Let us forgive us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. 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 God, you are able and you are just. And we thank you for your forgiving love that covers us. We thank you, Lord God, for your hands of mercy that keeps us. We thank you, Lord, for just caring about us when we couldn't even care for ourselves, when we couldn't even love ourselves, or we didn't even like ourselves. Let's be 100. Lord, we didn't even like ourselves. Lord God, you still came up and saw about us, and we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for just keeping power. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for caring about us. Thank you for not allowing our 
feet that hit the stone. Lord God, you lift us up above the nonsense, be above the carelessness, be above the things that we got ourselves into, Lord God. You lift us up. We don't know how we made it this far, Lord God, but we understand now that it's by the grace, by, by your grace and by your mercy that kept us. And we say thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. You are good, Lord God. You are good, God. We honor you, Lord God. You're good. You are good. And we thank you, Lord God, for every good thing that you've done in our lives. Because you are good. In the mighty name of Jesus, we seal this prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 So guys, have a marvelous day. Remember, I love you, but God definitely loves you more. And I'm going to see you at the top because there's no more room at the bottom. And remember on today, God is good. God is good. Let that be your worship. Let that be when you facing something crazy on today. Just smile and realize and remember that God is good. Amen. So be blessed. See you guys tomorrow for day 30. Day 30 of the 31 days of self-love. We're talking about some practical ways you can kickstart your new year. Amen. So be blessed, guys. See you in the next video.